Hello everyone, this is Crota coming at you, giving you another Night Elf versus Undead matchup. This game is going to be between Alice and Fanta. Um, I be well, I'll let you go ahead and figure out who is who. I believe Alice was the one who won in the previous matchup that was also Undead. I can go ahead and check that actually, but I'm going to pause the replay for a second. Hold on, let me pull it up here uh, just so that I know what's going on. Yes, it is Alice versus Fanta, and Fanta is in fact... Uh, I believe Fanta is... Wow, well, I should all have... Nope. Um, Fanta is the undead and Alice is the night elf. All right, should have known that earlier. My apologies. Let me go ahead and speed this uh, game up just a bit for you guys as we are now getting underway. We are going to go ahead and head to the two-minute mark. Uh, my apologies if you guys really, really like the first two minutes of gameplay, but I found that... Um, well, I'm saving myself a little bit of time here as we are now already seeing some Ancient of War creeping going down. Some nice micro play here using that Lightning Shield to add in some extra bit of damage while that Warden gets very, very close to level 2. Death Knight out on the field and is going to be go doing a little bit of creeping instead of trying to go do that ghoul harassment. Now, I do like this play. Um, what this is going to allow the Death Knight to do is get to that all-important level 2. By getting to that 533 um, creep camp, clearing it out, and then making its way over here as well, the Death Knight ensures that it has the two best opening skills, Death Coil and Unholy Aura, when facing a Night Elf player. Now, the Warden, however, knows that, hey, harassment has not come into play yet, so I should perhaps be making my way back down. If the Death Knight is all of a sudden gaining experience, I'm going to end up falling behind later on in this matchup. All right, let's take a look at this. The Warden, is it going to try? Nope, it, it, I believe it tried to Shadow Strike, and it may have even spent the mana to Shadow Strike, but it actually did not hit the target. Meanwhile, a Rogue is down over here. The Death Knight now getting up to level 2. Very, very good for the Undead opening already, as we are now going to be looking at that Death Knight picking up a Gauntlet of Ogre Strength plus 3. Very strong opening so far for the Death Knight. Meanwhile, let's take a look at what the Night Elf strategy is going to be as it is going into Tree of Ages. Now, with Tree of, with the very, very fast Tree of Ages, perhaps it wants to go Dryad Bears, but we also need to figure out what Melon or what the Undead player is going to do. We are, I would not be surprised to see Gargoyles here as we now see a quick Shadow Strike onto an Acolyte. That Acolyte taking a bit of damage already, and this is really, really going to hurt um, because of the extra loss of gold. You can see that the undead player is forced to retreat with these units here. Gonna go ahead and take down one Acolyte. A second Acolyte could even be taken down. There is another Shadow Strike there. The Acolyte, however, will survive as it is on Blight but it did significantly delay the tech to tier 2. We are still now just starting Halls of the Dead. It was canceled. It had to be canceled in order to um, go forward again as we are now looking at the Death Knight here. All right, the Death Knight wandering around does not buy Dust of... Oh, did buy the Dust of Appearance, but didn't realize that the Warden was sitting right there. Meanwhile, the Death Knight now still wandering around here. We're going to pick up some items. There is the Warden in the back here. And now we may see the Death Knight leading the army as strong as can be. That Unholy Aura making the Death Knight extremely fast and versatile. Should have perhaps gone after all of the archers though, as the Warden did have Boots of Speed, making that target that much more difficult to try and surround. Right now, the Death Knight definitely has the larger army, uh, 28 over 30 supply compared to 29 over 50, but the sheer number of ghouls and skeletal minions, or the skeletal minions are not being added into that supply count. That is one of the reasons why the undead army looks so large. However, with, mo with many, many summoned units, all you really need to do is just kind of wait it out. And that's exactly what the Night Elf player is doing. The Night Elf player is using um, the Warden to just constantly harass while the archers are able to get in a little bit of focus fire as well. The Warden, still seeing that level 2 though, hasn't really been doing very much. Let's go ahead and take a look. It looks like, nope, a Death Coil onto a Ghoul does save it in time. And the Troll Trapper... Oh, the Death Knight gets the kill there once more. Beautifully done. As the Undead Army is playing extremely strong right now. Undead now making its way back down. Now, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> now heading back up north. Gonna go ahead and try to get a surround onto that Warden. That Warden is rather low on mana as well. Is gonna be caught in a really, really difficult spot as we're still figuring out what these archers are going to be doing. Let's take a look at this. Death Knight going after 
and this kobold creep camp here already sitting at level three we are taking we are at tree of ages we are now um just about to finish halls of the dead you got to remember there was that earlier cancellation as we are looking at melancholy finishing off this creep camp here this death knight is going to be at a very high level as the warden still sitting at level two right now is starting to lose the experience race that is never something you want to do especially against a undead player who now picks up a Naga Sewage. Beautiful transition. He realized that, hey, you know what? I'm going to most likely be end up being behind because I had to cancel my Halls of the Dead. Let me pick up a Naga Sea Witch instead, and this way I can put on early pressure. Now, the Naga Sea Witch, her ability does tend to fall off, though, and after a little while. The reason why is that Naga Sea Witch is generally a very, very strong um, tier 2 push hero. But as the units start to level up further and further, their hit points get higher, and that makes it very difficult with that, even with that cold arrow to focus down the necessary targets. Let's take a look. A um, Murloc Nightcrawler going to get taken out. The Warden is still right there. Does have plenty of mana after drinking some Moonwell juice as we are finishing off this creep camp here. Can the Death Knight get to level 5 here? That is going to be a big question as we're looking at the Death Knight now making its rounds again. Warden now making its way back down. You can see Tome of Strength has been picked up. And this is looking very, very bad news. Oh, beautiful Death Coil saving another unit. And all these archers and dryads suddenly getting amassed to go ahead and take down these units. All right, let's take a look. Undead now trying to run away. Oh, there was a Shadow Strike um, and a... A shadow strike and a blink there, but a beautiful denial once more as the Death Knight still absorbing a whole bunch of damage. The Dryad's trying to use that slow poison to get a little bit of an advantage, but will not be able to get too much as the Death Knight now has to be extremely careful. The Death Knight does have the experience lead, and that means that the Death Knight does have a bit more base damage as well. The Warden is much more hit or miss, even though their upper end damage is about the same. The Warden, because it can... Um, the Warden can also hit much, much lower, so a little bit less consistency and um, average damage. All right, looks like the Warden is just going to be shy of level 3 after clearing out this creep camp. This is not looking good for him. The Death Knight, or her, the Death Knight with the Naga Sea, which is at level 3, level 1, looking to be extremely strong. Going to finish off this 5-3-3 creep camp. Um, both heroes, I well, maybe the, the Death Knight will level. I'm not 100% sure, though. I don't think so. Uh, probably going to be around 850-860 in terms of experience. Yeah, right, exactly right there. 846 as the Warden now getting up to level 3. All right, Druids of the Claw are out on the field. Rejuvenation onto the Warden. Um, I cast it, or I started to say that sentence even before I saw it. Just made sense that that Warden needed to regenerate some hit points. Undead, though, still building up a very strong army and now starting to get those Obsidian statues. So building the counter to the bears even before he sees them. That's one of the great things about Warcraft 3. You kind of kind of can expect what your opponent is going to do and as long as you are as long as you have the counter by the time your opponent tries to engage, you're generally in a very very favorable position. All right, let's take a look down over here. Bears are down over here as well. There are only two Dryads, but the problem with this army... No, we are transitioning now into Crypt Fiends as well instead of the massive Ghoul army we saw earlier. And that looks like we're going to have Crypt Fiends and Destroyers against Dryads and Bears. The Bears are already out on the field. Level uh, level 2 rank mastery already in play. You can see them. Uh, these Bears are relatively low on mana already. Um, one Druid of the Claw still in Druid form regenerating mana. Another one has enough for rejuvenation. But um, still going to regenerate that mana rather slowly here. Let's take a look back. We now see the Lich being added as well. So the Naga Sea Witch and the Lich 1-2 or 2-3 combination alongside that Death Knight. That Death Knight sitting at level 5, the Lich sitting at level 1, the Naga Sea Witch sitting at level 2. But the Naga Sea Witch is giving that minus 5 armor onto anything it attacks. So really increasing the amount of damage those targets suffer. Alright, looks like the Warden is going to be going for Solo Hero as the Warden now getting up to level 4. Once it gets in close to 5, it's going to have to face the enemy army to try and get any higher. That's one of the ways that uh, Blizzard back in the day went to encourage an interaction and engagement as opposed to just a level up fest 
I think this was back in like 2003. Um, one of those things that, hey, you know what? You don't want people to just constantly, constantly creep. It is not exciting for the first 15 minutes if both players are just creeping their sides of the map. All right, Naga, Sea Witch, Lich, and Death Knight all working together here. Lich is seeing that level one is very, very vulnerable to the Shadow Strike. As we see now, the bears are getting, um, getting some action onto those archers, uh, making sure to take them down. As we're now seeing that 50 over 60 supply another I thought I saw another bear being trained but I don't see us oh there it is there's that second ancient of lore so two ancients of lore dual training uh, bears and dryads are possible Naga see which sitting at level two death knight sitting at level four and it looks like the undead may have a bit of the advantage here 58 over 60 supply but the longer this game goes without the undead attacking the more behind he's going to find himself as the Night Elf player is starting to build up a sizable bank. 50 over 70 supply means that he is not getting taxed at all. So he does pretty much, he's getting what, 600 gold a minute compared to 420. As the Warden comes in quick fan of knives to deal a lot of damage here. And now still looking for extra units. All right, let's see. Wisp going to go ahead and try and engage here. Bears going to go quickly take down one Crypt Fiend. As the Warden is in front, Fork Lightning, are we going to see a Staff of Preservation? No Staff of Preservation, saving the bear there. As the Warden now sits at level 4, there is now level 5. And level 5 with Phantom Knives could be very, very big play. Warden now seeing that level 5 does Staff of Preservation that time. And now going after all these units, there goes a Abomination. And that Warden already halfway to level 6. Beautiful Phantom Knives, lots of mana. And that just completely changed the, the course and the pacing of the game. Destroyers are now trying to go after the bear. The bear unable to get stabbed as it was still on cooldown most likely. Should have saved the first and the third bear as opposed to the second bear. That is a huge, huge loss for the Night Elf. Bear now getting some rejuvenation in as well. Uh, let's see another bear down over here. We're seeing that 47 over 70. Uh, another Dryad was lost. That was pretty much all the units that were lost as the Undead actually came out behind. He had a supply advantage and then ended up losing a whole bunch of those units. The Warden started the fight at level 4 and is now more than halfway up to level 5 or level 6. And now the Warden just looking for some easy, easy targets. Now, there are no more ghouls in this army, which is good news for the undead. The fan of Knives not going to be able to easily take down the targets there. Let's take a look at this. Warden now making its way over. Are we going to see them go after the units? Yes, there is a big fan of Knives trying to focus down. Oh, Bear now focusing down the Crypt Fiend. The Crypt Fiend taking a bit of damage. There is a Burrow to save the Crypt Fiend. More Obsidian statues coming in. There is a quick reveal. And what is happening? The Scroll of Town Portal now being used. The Warden unable to save a Bear as there was a of focus fire and that time around i do believe we saw a bit of an advantage for the other um for the undead all right renegade wizard gonna fall rune bracers i do not believe they actually i don't believe they stack and what is happening here did they uh, did they attack the rune bracers or did he pick it up oh i, I it could have been picked up um oh there yeah nope did he pick up the rune bracers and then sell them that would have been some very, very nice micro using a bear as a mule. Rune Bracers are rather an expensive item as we are now looking at the Warden looking to try and put, do a little bit of pressure once more. All right, there is the Warden. There is some Golems. And now incoming from the side is that Warden looking to deal some damage. Fan of Knives hitting that Death Knight. Death Knight down to 500 hit points as the units are in retreat again. That Warden really playing a bit of a dangerous game though as the Bears and the Dryads are now trying to engage. All right, there you go. There's the positioning. And whoever is running is usually losing in this fight. But in comes the Ghouls. Fan of Knives comes down. All right, Warden now does have an Orb of Venom going after some of those Destroyers. Staff of Preservation saving a unit there as the Dryads are now pushing forward again. More bears coming over. It looks like this one bear is going to be forced to back off here as the bears are not now being or not being challenged by the Destroyers. Where are they? There is another Destroyer. Naga Sea Witch now up to level 3. Um, Lich seeing that level 2 now as the Warden is almost at 6. However, not before losing another handful of bears. That is going to be a very, very bit of bad news as the Death Knight still sitting at level 4. 
that death knight sitting at level four it feels like it's been at level four for absolutely forever and still needs to get to level five if we actually saw a creep jack a properly well executed creep jack by the night elf this game i believe could be over there is a, a what a boulder to the head onto that lich already as the naga sea which now trying to finish off the rest of this creep camp constant boulders constant boulders one rock golem now down Death Knight still seen at 4. Death Knight could easily get a Death Coil off onto that Lich. Continue to save it as though Granite Gold Golem with Chaos damage now coming in as well. Alright, that Granite Golem still doing a fair bit of damage. As the Crypt Fiends now back off getting some a little bit more shot. The Warden looking to get some damage in here. What is going to happen? The Warden could just come in here, Shadow Strike uh, an Acolyte, and then summon the uh, summon the Avatar of Vengeance. Oh, there it goes. There's level 6. Where is the Avatar of Vengeance? And it's got to be... Just throw it down. What are you doing? There is there is already a number of... of what's it called here? Uh, a number of corpses here that makes it a very, very easy target. That Warden sitting at level 6 here... Just making it so that his opponent cannot mine any gold. All right, Warden now down to, uh, what, 700 hit points. Decided not to use his ability and is now going to run back. All right, expansion now already up for the Night Elf. And with that expansion and now entangling of that gold mine, the ball is definitely in the Night Elf's court and favor. 68 over 80 supply compared to 56 over 70. I think the next fight is going to become as a bit of a shock to the undead. The undead most likely feels that, hey, you know what? I have a bit of an advantage, but that is definitely doesn't feel like the case. Level 4 still on that Death Knight. Really should be at level 5. Lich sitting at level 3. Naga Sea Witch sitting at level 3 as well. And we are going to have a very big fight here. Avatar of Vengeance. Now, uh, out on the field, the warden sitting at level 4. You can see that there are dryads in position here. Bears, which are upgraded 2-1 as well. The crypt fiends are not upgraded at all. Neither are the abominations or the destroyers. So this really is going to come as a surprise to the undead. Looking at the armies, you may think that this is a very, very even matchup. But that is not the case. As we are now looking at the units about to engage. Alright, there you go. They are now committing into this fight. Dryads are in position. Avatar is here as well. Bear uh, could get up. Oh, yes, does get taken down. Fork Lightning now coming in as well. All of those destroyers are now coming up, are, are now becoming obsidian statues as the Dryad army is now just absolutely wrecking everything. No Staff of Preservation. Death Knight finally gets the level 5, but not before the Dryads are pushing back the rest of the units. All right, Death Knight without a Scroll of Town Portal. This is actually a really bad fight for him to be in. Naga Sea Witch gets taken down very easily. Warden sitting at level 6, almost level 7. Could take down the Lich as well, and that is going to be it. Beautifully played by the Night Elf player to really come out ahead and take this game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it as we have... Um, what was this? I believe... Um, I believe uh, what F Alice ended up taking that game over Fanta as we now move on into game three. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.